Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, Good morning, today I will bring the chapter 7, Democracy So we are just left one chapter and then we will finish our class Okay, today the chapter Democracy, we shall see that we are learning about the definition of democracy Type of democracy, characteristic of democracy and disadvantage of democracy Okay, <coughs> when I say the democracy, demo is a power Democracy is the power. Uh, no, demo is a people. Democracy is a power. So it means that the power is came from the peoples. So it's a rule by the people of the people to the people, by the people. That means that a government must be made, which uh, which are chosen by the people. So it's a it's a system of government in which sovereignty rests with the whole people who rule either directly or through representative. But we must ask ourselves that. Huh? What's the basic meaning of a democracy? The basic meaning of the democracy that in the layman understanding is what? Okay, that means that in the layman's in the layman's meaning is people have a political freedom and equality. In the layman words, people have a political freedom and equality. So, in the terms of politicians, democracy is the power. Then the politician must think how to get the power from the people. Uh, this is the things that you have to understand. And then the three principles of the democracy. There's a three fundamental principle: our con our control. Okay. There's a principle: the fundamentals of democracy. First is our control. The our control is mean that sovereignty residing at the lowest level of authority. Political equality and social norms by which individual and institution only consider acceptable acts that reflect the first two principles of outward control of the and political. So that means that there's an outward. When I said outward, there's a downward. So outward is a what? Outward is a, that means that sovereignty residing at the lowest level of the authority. Okay? Then downward is what? Downward is a political equality. And social norms by which individual intuition only consider acceptable acts that reflect the first two principles our control and political. Uh, that means that our is the authority, the lowest level of the authority that they are get power from the people. The downward is what? The downward is the political equality and social norms. And that's a, another one is we must understand that. Okay. In your slide, there is a. In your slide, there is a. Direct democracy, indirect democracy, but the spirit of substantive democracy. So you must understand which one is the upward, which one is the downward, and uh, which one is the. In the middles. Okay. When I say the upwards, upwards, that means that it's a direct. If indirect, it's a downwards. And then persistent or substantive is in the middle. These are three type, three principles, fundamentals. Okay. So when you see this one, okay, when you see this one, okay, not all the countries, okay, not all the countries uh, have a democracy. So in this in this world nowadays, okay, and nowadays what I mean that what I mean that after end of the World War Two, after end of the World War Two, okay, we will see that, okay, we will see that. The system, the governments, the system governments after World War II ended, is based on the Western ideas. Western ideas. That means that either you are democracy, or you are communist, or you are socialism, or you are monarchy. See that? So, we mean that. When you see in the in this in these things after end of World War Two, okay, there's a 86 of the countries which are which are, right, which are democracy direct, direct democracy, and which 59 countries, okay, 59 countries are partly free or indirect democracy. It's a downward. And there's also 50 countries which are very not free. Not free, that means that 50 countries is what means that maybe communism, 
socialism, monarchy, or authoritarians. Authoritarians. So this is a system of government nowadays. After the end of World War Day, after the end of World War Two, until now. Get me or not? Okay. When I say direct democracy, direct democracy, eh? that means that it's a form of government which in which citizens, rather than representative, decide the law and policy that govern them. The areas known as a direct democracy is to be the Athenian democracy. Okay, that means that direct democracy is a a form of government in which citizens, okay, citizens decide the law and policy. That means that if you just now I say that, eh, sovereignty residing at the lowest level of authority. Uh, that means that why? Why sovereignty residing at the lowest level of authority? Because the people are decide. People have a right to decide. To decide what law and policy that govern them. Okay? It's a direct democracy. Clear or not? Okay. And then you must understand that a direct democracy, okay, a direct democracy, the recall process in certain states is a form of direct democracy. Recourse, recourse allows citizens to remove a public official from office given enough public support. That means that you must understand that citizens have a right. Citizens have a right to remove, uh, to remove the, to remove a public officer from his office. Okay. And then some of the issues surrounding the related notion of direct democracy using the internet and other combination, Tranji I deal with the e-democracy. E-democracy they meant democracy in the internet, in the digital world, democracy in digital world, where the citizens make the decisions, where the citizens push the governments to do something. Uh, like social medias okay okay this is called direct democracy so when you say this one okay direct democracy that means that you understand okay direct democracy means that every citizens every citizens receive their papers and information brochure for each vote so that means that they are practice the percentage they are the practice in which seat understand not, 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 not clear now. Okay, I, I will explain. In direct democracy, in direct democracy means that, okay, in that democracy, okay, one person vote is very meaningful because one, one person vote will be count in the percentage of the vote to, to support who will become the president, who will become the representative. In the, in the where? In the Senate, in the representative, in the representative, lah, House of Representatives, House of Senate. Okay. If let's say in direct democracy, in direct democracy, you understand. In direct democracy, that means that you have to understand. In direct democracy is a how many six that a party win in the elections. From the seat they win will be determine who will be the rural party. So it's indirect. Direct democracy is one person will, will be count as important because this vote will be measurement in the percentage vote. We call it popular vote. So, so you understand that direct democracy is different than indirect democracy. Okay. And then you must understand. Okay, one thing. Okay. In direct democracy, okay, in the democracy is citizen choose representative to represent them. Okay, to represent them in the house of the representative. So this representative will make the decisions on their behalf. It's different from direct democracy. Direct democracy is the citizen make the decisions, not their representative. See that? So there's a, a clear difference, two things. A clear two things. Okay? A clear two things. One, citizens decide how to make their decisions. We call it direct. Another one another point is each citizen vote will be count in the percentage of the vote to support who will be the ruler, who will be the president. 
who will be the presidents who will be their representative but indirect indirect okay indirect is you must understand the citizens okay the citizen choose who will be represent them who will be the same time and this representative were making the decision on their behalf and then every citizen vote every citizen vote is count on the seat so which party win more seat will be the rural party so this indirect democracy means the the concept get me or not okay can okay, me or not? Okay. And then you should understand that. Okay. Okay. Why? Why? After end of World War II, democracy is needed, especially in the colonized country. Especially in the colonized country. Okay. In the colonized country, you must understand US, UK. Dutch, France, okay. So each of the colonized will bring their system in their colonized country, right? British, British will bring the democracy, Westminster systems, federalisms in the colonized colonized country, and then you want to understand that Dutch, Indonesia, democracy is it? France, Indochina. Indo China. So why we did why do we need democracy? Because democracy the most important is rule of law. Rule of law. Uphold the rule of the law. These are the things that why democracy needed because rule of law. When you say rule of law, that means that okay, the citizens are given equal opportunity to help make laws to help make the laws vote for leaders and be protected by law and right at the place rule of law everybody act according to the law except the authoritarian country except socialism country except communist country uh, certain country is ruled by law the rural party will make the law and people must follow the rural party the, so the rural party is not act according to law because the rural party is the law party clear or not okay okay so and then the five basic concepts of democracy Fundamental worth of every person, everyone is worthy of being part of our democracy. Equality of all persons, everyone has equal opportunity and legal equality, regardless of gender, religious or race. Majority rule and minority rights. Necessity of compromise. Individual freedoms. Clear not? Individual freedoms, necessity of compromise. Majority rule and minority rights, equality of all persons, everyone has equal opportunity and legal equality, regardless of gender, region, or race. And lastly, fundamental word for every person everyone is worthy of being part of our democracy. There's a five concept of democracy. There's a five concept of democracy. So, much of the winners of the delivery system of our democracy can be traced to political institutions that do not adequately extend political power, ensure accountability and transparency in the operation of government, guarantee basic rights, promote freedom of expression, and the media provide security against eh, provide security against any aggression, any aggression act. Eh. That means that the benefit of democracy, the benefit of democracy is what? The benefit of democracy, you must understand. First, first is ensure accountability and transparency. Accountability and transparency in the operation of government. Second, guarantee basic right. 
third promote freedom of expressions of the expressions and of the media freedom of expression freedom of expression and also in media and four provide security against any aggression act so this is the benefit of democracy okay the benefit of democracy so and then is it same like advantage is it like same like advantage okay i would say that advantage of representative democracy okay especially as opposed to the direct democracy that means that these two things is difference advantage representative democracy is different than advantage of direct democracy see that why difference because people cannot be expected to have the time or interest to make important and regular decisions Representative can educate the public on political issue. Representative ensure the interest of all sections of society, including minorities, are taken into account and can be held accountable for the decisions. Finally, representatives are able to aggregate the different demands of people into a more coherent and political logical program. So that means that you must understand. That means that is what just now I already told to you the benefit of democracy. It's what. Ah, ensure accountability and transparency in the operation of government guarantee basic right promote freedom of expressions and of the media provide security against any aggression act so this is the the common benefit of democracy that you can use in the you can use in the representative democracy and direct democracy representative democracy is indirect democracy ah, see that so when you say advantage of democracy, democracy you are saying if you want to focus on the advantage of democracy, democracy yes it's a difference from the direct democracy but at the, at the at the same time at the same time just now i already told to you the benefit of democracy is almost the equation same whether on direct democracy or indirect democracy that means that you want to find the differences? Yes, there's a differences of advantage of direct democracy and advantage of indirect democracy or representative democracy. Yes, but how about the equation same? Equation same that means that either representative democracy or direct democracy or indirect democracy is it have a same point? Yes, just not already told to you the benefit of democracy. Okay. So, this advantage of defensive democracy, uh, just now, differences or advantage and equations. Now, it's a disadvantage. So, disadvantage of defensive democracy include that representative may distort people's demand to suit to their political reference, may not make themselves accountable enough between the elections, can only be removed by election if they lost their respect of power. The electoral mandate diversity is flow as far as have to accept or reject a whole manifesto not being able to make clear which part of it they are possible. So, when you say this disadvantage, okay, is it disadvantage representative democracy or indirect democracy? Same with the direct democracy? No. Uh, just not already told to you, advantage of Representative democracy or indirect democracy and direct democracy have a difference, have the equation of the same point. Is it so? Like the disadvantage, yes, they have a differences, but they also the, have the same. So what the same things? Okay. Okay. What the same thing? Ah. Huh? Okay. You might understand. Okay. The same thing is leader keep changing in democracy. Ah, that leads to instability. So that means that you must understand either direct democracy or indirect democracy, which we, we known as a representative democracy, okay, have the same point. What the same point of the disadvantage? First point is leader keeps changing in democracy that leads to instability.
Second point is democracy is all about political competitions and play and power play. Hence, there are there are no scope of morality. That means that democracy is the is the political competitions and power play. So there is a no scope of morality. So that means that politicians sometimes have no morality. And the third point, which are same, democracy lead to delays as in it the approval of many departments and ministers. That means why? Because democracy take a time, a long time, sometimes to make a certain decisions by the department or ministers. We call it is what bureau criterions. So this is a three point of same disadvantage either direct democracy or indirect democracy. Okay, so what are the five characteristic? What are the five characteristic of democracy? Elections. Clear? Elections. Not selection. Elections. Ah, why? I will, I will tell you, okay. In the socialist country, in the communist country, they are doing selections. Ah, they are doing selections. They are not doing elections. Democracy is elections. Why? People choose their representative in the indirect democracy or citizen choose their leaders on in on direct democracy okay the second characteristic is transparency why why they why the democracy need transparency because you want to convince a people to believe them when people believe them people will vote them people will support them so transparency is more important and then Encountability. Why encountability? You must understand. Encountability, that means that and when a person is very accountable for a certain job, so people will be more likely that persons rather than other person because of accountables. And then majority rules, yes, there's majority rules and minority rights. That means that minority cannot be discriminated. And then next, cooperation and compromise and individual rights. So that's a, how many points? One, two, three, four, five, six points. Six points of the democratic democratic characteristic. Elections, not selections, not selection, transparency, accountability, majority rule and minority rights, cooperation and compromise, and individual rights. These are the five. One five six characteristic of a democracy. Okay, and then we are going to another one. Okay, we're going to another one. Okay, another types is party participatory participation. Nah, participation or substantive democracy. So participation or substantive democracy. Incorporate many of the above and strive to create a political system that will allow people to participate in politics as much as possible in a face-to-face -face manner. So that means that you must understand this model where, where maximum input participation is required, where output includes not only policy but also the development of the social and political capacity of each individual. He also emphasized that combination of influence on policy making, quality of derivations, and citizen engagement, engagement based institutions. So, what then means that? What the means that? Okay, the mean is to attract, to attract, to attract the people to involve, to participate in certain policy ideas in certain policy formulations and in certain feedback of policy clear and then this 
output okay this output will become a development on social political capacity of each individuals each individual must say each politicians because each politicians when they want to become a minister when they want to become a I say the ali parliament okay house of uh, representative members member of parliaments so they must develop they must develop they must develop their social and political capacity so they must talk what the thing that they want to bring to the people uh, what I say is what promises if I win I will bring down the price of the oil and then how we want to bring, bring down the price of the oil so this person say oh, to bring down the price of the oil they, 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 blah, 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 blah. so D is the social and political capacity that people believe him because he already know what is the output, the feedback from the people. And then you must understand that. You must understand. This society of democracy emphasizes on the influence on policy making. See that? Emphasize on policy making. And the quality of deliberations and citizen engagement based institutions. That means that people in both in policy making people was bring to the institutions to engage with the certain politicians uh, so this is a substantive democracy and then okay and then if we're going on okay we're going on okay okay so What's the thing that democracy is disadvantage? Uh, just now I say to you, advantage. Is it? Is it? Just now I say to you, what's what? Disadvantage, is it? Disadvantage, is it? Okay. Disadvantage of democracy. So now I will bring that under the ideas. The criticisms on democracy. The criticisms on democracy. Okay, what the most important criticism on democracy is opportunity for corruptions. Democracy always been criticized because of corruptions. Uh, people get the power, and power must have money. No money, no talk. Okay, and then the second criticism is sometimes people are wrongly wrongly choose their leaders ah, when people have wrongly choose their leaders what happened to the government instability chaos so this is the thing that you should think and then maybe maybe somebody can buy in a vote from person yeah, somebody can buy in a, a vote from person criticisms because sometimes you must know that okay the people have the right to choose but how about the individual preference for a leader is it is it they have preferred this reader because of the reader's reader is very good or sometimes money or sometimes fanatisms okay and then you must understand that voting is privilege, not obligations. So sometimes people are not turned out to vote. When people are not turned out to vote, so that means that the only winner is who are came to vote. So if they are boycott, they are they they don't want dead leaders. So they are not turned out. When they are not turned out, so. The person who are, who are like this leader will turn, turn in, turn in, in, in the voting, and then they choose their leaders. So, what happened? Oh, we say that this leader have a, or have a support from the peoples. But when you see that, when you see that the turnout is very low, what happened? Ah, mereka tidak keluar, mereka tidak hadir untuk mengundi. 
Akibatnya Siapa tahu Pemimpin ni disukai atau tidak uh, This the problems You should ask yourself Okay And then criticism Another criticism is what Okay Another criticism is Democratic form of government Is in the fact That I like In monarchy, monarchy form of government Where decisions are made by one individual This type of government follows protocol when it came to decision and law making, since coming up with decision undergoes processes, time is needed to do so and this can take long time. That means that that means that another criticism to democracy is everything must follow the procedure. Everything must follow the protocol. Everything must follow, follow, follow. So what happened? People were manipulating. People were doing sometimes a certain thing, sometimes which are bad. Huh? And then sometimes it take a long time to make one decisions. Sometimes people are buying a person to make a decisions. Sometimes people are persuade, which are colonialisms, nepotisms. This is a criticism of the democracy. Nepotisms and colonialism, which are unfair. Okay? Uh, and then the criticism is what? Sometimes favor the majority. How about minority? How about the minority rights? Minority voice? They are left behind. They are left out. When they are left out, what happened? What happened? They will be, they will be discriminated. Discriminations. Of course, discriminations. Eh? So this is the problems when it comes to these uh, criticisms. Eh? So, is it is it Western ideas of government after World War II ended? It's a perfect. It's perfect to the global citizens. No. No. Democracy is not good. Communism is not good. Authoritarian is not good. Monarchy also is not good. Because all the system have a witness. All the system have the criticisms. A lot of criticism rather than advantage to the to the people, to the citizens. So this make we sometimes think that oh democracy is good. Sometimes we must think in which way is good. Is it favor to the majority? Is it a good in the transparency? Ah, so you must understand. Okay? So there's a sometimes other arguments against democracy. So what the argument against democracy? The first argument is the leaders are changing. Uh, when leaders are changing, when, uh, one leader a like a person become leader when coming to the power will bring the a policy. After the a was lost in the elections, b person. Take over B policy. After B losses in the election, C take over C policy. So, when is it? The policy is changing. So, people are not benefit. People are not benefit. And then there's a competitions. Competitions to get more influence, to get more power, to get more support. So, they will add anything. They will add anything to get it. And then the leader will consult people. The leader will consult people. Sometimes a leader can manipulate the people in one decision of policy. Majority say no. But when it comes to the politicians, leaders, they can manipulate. They say, yes, no to be yes. And then they give their facts. They give their points. And people believe. Uh, this is this a argument against democracy. It's different. You know, understand? Criticisms, advantage, disadvantage, and argument against. And then ordinary people don't know what's good for them. Uh, that's also... Only the people don't know what's good for them. So, they just hope that the leader will bring the goods to them. Like money. Money buying. 
no money buying. If the government give me money, is this government is very good. If the, this government cannot give me the money, this government is not good. But where the money comes? <laughs> you ask yourself, not me. And then corruption, of course. It's not the politician corrupt. Sometimes public official corrupts because of power. The roping of power. Okay, the roping of power. And then after that, how you want to be how to how you want to make the democracy become strong, good to the people. So it's the first thing is must you must think is dirigate the power. Dirigate the power. The power is not on one person. Dirigate the power. This is the one to make the democracy become strong. And second is responsibility. Responsibility. Uh, so, the citizens, especially in the internet, citizens, should look on responsibility. It's the responsibility of each minister. You see, they, are, they are responsible for their acts. Uh, don't be crazy for the powers. If you're crazy power, you have crazy for the powers. You are not thinking of the peoples. So, is it responsibility? No. Don't be crazy for the power. So, democracy is a demo crazy. It's not me crazy. Demo crazy. Demo crazy. Okay. Okay. And then, okay. You should ask yourself the four pillars of democracy ah the four pillars of democracy legislative executive judiciary and media these the four pillars of democracy legislative executive judiciary and media so these are four pillars of the democracy ah so how you want to make a difference between democracy country, authoritarian country, communist country, socialism country, monarchy country. So the first the, the, the differences between each of the system you must look on the pillars. So the democracy have a four pillars. So see see that these four pillars of democracy will make this country is democracy. Legislative, executive, judiciary, and media. Why? Because freedom of expressions, especially in media. What media? Social media. Okay. So, so how you understand? Okay. And then you should know that democracy also. Democracy also have the types of the democracy already told to you democracy also have a, another one is democracy in the public and democracy in con constitutional monarchy so in this world in this world either democracy in the public or democracy in constitutional monarchy so constitutional monarchy democracy like malaysia uh, like Great Britain's, so the public is what the public democracy like Indonesia, US, uh, India. Uh, why? Because the head of the state, the head of the state is not the king. The head of the state is the president. So the president will become more powerful than prime minister. Uh, see that. When the head of the state, the president is more powerful than prime minister, that means that this country is the public. If we call it constitutional monarchy democracy, that means that the head of government is more powerful than the head of the states. So head of government is what? Prime minister. Prime minister is more powerful than the king. We call it constitutional monarchy. But in the republic, the president is more powerful than the prime minister. So, this is the things that you should know that democracy. Huh? Democracy. Okay. So, is it? Okay. Is it? Is it democracy just only one system only? I already said to you, 
direct democracy, direct democracy, and then already told to you, uh, the public, uh, the public, and then constitutional monarchy. Okay, so is it is one system only democracy? Is it one system? No, there's so many system of democracy. There's so many system of democracy. Do you know why? Okay, Malaysia democracy is differences than Indonesia democracy. Indonesia democracy is differences than Filipina Philippines democracy. Why? Because each of country practice of their belief on democracy systems. So you cannot say that. Oh, Malaysia is very democratic country. No. Because you must understand. Okay? Democracy, yes, there's a indirect, indirect, participatory, substantive. But you must understand that democracy system is on the belief of this of certain countries. The belief of the countries to practice their democracy. Okay? Okay, I, I will give you as a as a numbers, okay? US. The US belief in democracy is different than the UK, United Kingdom belief in democracy. And United Kingdom belief in democracy is different than France belief in democracy. France democracy in belief in democracy, France, France belief in democracy is different than US, UK or Germany. So each country have their belief system of democracy. But you must know that. To make it one country become democracy must have four pillars. This is the most important thing. So you should know that. You should know that. You should know that. Oh, Malaysia is a very democratic country. No. Because Malaysia have a dear belief system of democracy. So we call it Achuan. Achuan democracy may equal kehendak sesebuah negara so you cannot say that oh, the communal democracy is one system no there's so many system of democracy based on belief of that country that country clear but you must you must know that only four pillars that will make this country is democracy or authoritarian country or communist country or socialist country okay clear get me or not Okay, so if you get me or not, so I will finish my chapter. Chapter what? Seven. So the last chapter is what? Uh, the last chapter is what? It's autocracy. So this is uh, chapter seven. So next week after Raya, we will finish our class. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Happy fasting.